I'm Opal. Today, I'm going to share one of my projects, which is needle felting a chickadee. I like to go for a nature walk and bring some bird seed to feed chickadees. I would observe and listen for chickadees hiding in the trees and bushes. I would put the bird seed on my hands and I'd stay very still so I won't scare them. I love to watch them on my hands and listen to the funny chickadee song. I like chickadees because they're friendly and cute. One time they bit my finger. It wasn't painful, but their claw can be sharp. So my first needle felting project was needle felting a bird nest. I did a small nest and I thought that it'd be nice to have a bird in it. So I thought of making a small bird to fill the empty nest. After I did a bit of research, I decided to make a chickadee because they are small. We decided to study chickadee more in depth. So this became a two month project divided into three stages. Research and planning, the needle felting process, and photographing my chickadee. I spent three days researching about chickadees. I found out that adult chickadees are 10 centimeters long. Their tail is 3.5 centimeters long. Their body is black, white, and with different shades of brown and gray. I would like to put some eggs in their nests. They usually have 1 to 13 eggs in their nests. Their nest is 10 to 15 cm. After I did some of the research, I realized that the nest that I made was too small. So I decided to make a bigger nest closer to the real size of the nest. The nest materials chickadees pick was mostly moss and rabbit fur. After I get all the facts of the chickadee, I started measuring and drawing the parts and the body. Since this is a 3D project, I needed to make sure it looks right from all angles. I drew out the top, bottom, side, and front view of the bird. In this picture, I show the tools and materials I use for my felting project. They are a felting needle, some colored natural wool and natural materials, yarn, metal wire, eyes accessory, old wool sweater, and plier and scissors. The stage one of the needle felting process is first make the main body shape with an old sweater and yarn. This is a video of me doing it. Now I tie it together to make sure it does not lose soft. If it's too big, I can cut some pieces away. I make it slightly smaller because I'm going to add more wool on the bird. The stage two of the needle felting process is felting in the chickadee body features with wool. After the shape is set, I pick the color wool to felt in the pattern of the bird. This step took a long time because I had to poke the bird a few hundred times all over the place. The felting needle has lots of tiny hooks on it. When I poke the wool in, the hook helps to attach the wool to the base shape. The trick is, I poke less or poke the needle in more shallow into the shape if I want the wool to stay fluffy. Or I poke all the way in or poke more times if I would like the wool to stay flat or indented. This is me felting in the cheek of the chickadee. This is the side view of my bird in progress. I always have to check the shape to make sure I keep the shape as close to the drawing as possible. 
This is the front view of my bird. If I feel that the cheek is too flat, I can fell more wool to the area until it looks fluffy and cute. However, if I feel that the cheek is too big or a different shape than my drawing, I can felt in more until the wool is tightly felted. This is the bottom of the bird. The two dots you see on the drawing or the feet are going to be inserted. And then this is the top of the bird. The top view can provide a lot of information and detail of the head, wings, and tail. It is important to keep the proportion correct. This video shows some sample steps of the felting process of my birds. The video was fast forwarded 400 to 1000 times speed faster. This is the wings that I'm felting in. Now I'm going to insert the feet in. And now I'm doing the drum fix, drumstick of the bird. And now I'm checking if it's the right angle. And it looks good. I have to use a different material for the feet in order for the bird to stand so it will look realistic. Working with metal is the hardest part of the project for me. As you can see in the video, this task is difficult for me because the bird's feet is small, the wire is hard and brittle, and my hands are a bit small for the tool and the tools are heavy. Here I'm trying to get the toes in. Now this is one of the fun parts for me, collecting the nest materials. The materials that I use for the nest is the windmill palm tree hair, dry moss, grass, straw, and wool. Initially, I thought I can use the small nest I made before, but after I did the research about chickadee habitat, I found out that the nest I made was too small. I decided to make a bigger nest for my bird. Turns out this is a fun part of the project, collecting nest materials. I collected most of the nest material in my backyard. To make the nest, I sandwiched the wool with the collected materials and felt together in a bowl shape. The last part is photographing my chickadee. I needed to think, um, if I were chickadee, where would I build my nest? So when I went out to take pictures, it was a pretty windy day. The challenge that I came across was wind, a spiky pine tree that kept poking me, and curious pedestrians. I wonder if chickadees would have a lot of trouble finding a good spot for the nest too. This is one of my favorite pictures. The nest in the picture was a small nest I made in my first needle felting project. It can only fit one chickadee bird in it. I was setting up my nest in a tree. I wonder what the chickadee would do when they see it. Would they go check it out or would they take the wool for their own nest? After I set up the nest in the nature setting, I was waiting and observing for a long time to see if the chickadee would come and check out the nest. The nest is there and the chickadee are pretty curious about it, but they're also pretty cautious. Instead of attracting chickadees, I think we attracted more curious pedestrians. Overall, I think this is a fun project and I learned a lot more about chickadees and about wool felting. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Bye!